How expensive can Chipotle get? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And good mythical news. The fall tour of mythicality is coming to Toronto, New Jersey, and Connecticut on November 8th, 9th, and 10th. So get your tickets now at tourmythicality.com. But right now, Red and I have something that we are very excited to show you. Our go-to Chipotle orders. I like to do a classic burrito con guacamole. And I like to get a little crazy by doing three different tacos. One chicken, one carnitas, and one barbacoa. And we have these for good reason. That reason is today we are finally making all of our wildest Chipotle dreams come true as we step inside a fantasy land to build the fanciest and potentially most expensive Chipotle meals the world has ever seen. Oh yeah, that's right. It's the same fantasy land that brought us the fancy Taco Bell Crunchwrap Supreme, mm. the fancy Big Mac, the fancy Chick-fil-A sandwich, and the fancy McRiddle. Join us in the mythical kitchen, won't you? It's time for Fancy Fast Food Chipotle Edition. Hello, Josh. You're still here in the mythical kitchen. Do you ever leave? Uh, the doors were locked last night, so I kind of just slept here. All right, so you've got all the super fancy versions of the ingredients here. We have a flour tortilla from Burritos La Palma, and then we have uh, Macienda red corn fried taco shells, and then of course we have chips and those are dusted with a little bit of Jamaica salt. For <gasps> Jamaica. For Jamaica. We're also gonna need cheese, so what we have here is Vela Dry Jack, and then this is called Quick's Goat Cheddar, and then, of course, Creme Fraiche, because, like, it's just fancy sour cream. Mm. Instead of oh. using pinto and black beans, we're using Mayakoba beans. Oh, I'm familiar. Oh, yeah? I'm the bean man. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean to assume. And then for the rice, we're doing Laurel Oak Barrel Aged Charleston Long Rice. And then we have extra fancy bay laurel. And it literally says extra, extra fancy. fancy! And then we need a ton of vegetables. I actually uh, drove up about 200 miles to San Miguel, where I actually dug up that onion myself. Did they you log have... your miles? I don't know what that means, so no, I suppose not. Good. Good. All right, and then the most important part is gonna be all of our meats. Starting here, this is gonna be for our barbacoa. We're using American Wagyu short rib. Instead of doing chicken, we're gonna do duck. Water Water's chicken. Fancy. If you can afford waterfront property as a bird, then you're fancy. This is pork shoulder from Iowa Swabian Hall, which is a breed of pig that an engineer actually revived and it was thought to have gone extinct in the 1800s due to German feudal politics. <laughs> they Jurassic Park a pig? pig? They Jurassic Park a pig. It's a crossbreed between the Chinese Mishan hog and the Russian wild boar, the fattiest pig in the world and the most muscular pig in the world. Gosh, you're a genius, Josh. Thank you. And then so the fanciest meat that we have in all this is gonna be our grilled steak. So this is imported Japanese A5 Kobe Wagyu rib cap. And we even have the certificate of authenticity that came with the cow. You didn't even print has... that out, did you? No, I didn't. That I framed it, it myself this way, it's crooked. All right, so we're gonna cook this duck breast first. We're gonna cold smoke this. Yeah. And so if you just like drop that right there. Okay. So we're so making like a, a duck breast aquarium? That's exactly what we're doing. It's more of a terrarium. terrarium. Just dump most of them on the table. That's perfect. Yeah. I, 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 I can't use I'll knives, That's man, fine. but I can use No, you fire. guys just fight among yourselves. Yes, yeah, cool. you just disqualified yourself. That's great. You can hold the smoky limp side, Five. okay? And then you just hit the button right now, and you'll actually see smoke start to fill this. Well, so, yeah, what are you doing? Don't do that. Don't, that. Yeah, don't do that. Look at it's full. It's full. Yeah, a so little. we can just kind of like let that sit, and then uh, you guys are ready to beat? It looks like a printer. It will probably not work if it's a printer. All right, and then you're going to switch this to operate. Operate. We're going to have to call IT. It should just go. Let's do a countdown from seven to five. Great. Seven, seven six, six, five. five. Whoop. Ah, let it go. That's all it does. I don't know if you were expecting more. Alexa, what is 25 centimeters in Fahrenheit. Alexa, tell me a joke. Okay, Google, cook duck. The, so this is a Nova. It's like Alexa's more functional cousin. It cooks things at a very steady temperature. So we're gonna do up to 150 degrees. We're gonna leave it in there for about 12 hours. Uh, I hope you guys brought your sleeping bags because it's gonna be a long night. Woo! Well, I can't believe we just watched the entire director's cut of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And 23 minutes of eyes wide shut. Cool, now our duck's done, so uh, the last step. Yep. Well, it's been cooking in the bag for a long time, uh, and so what we need to do is just cut that open. All we're gonna do is put it in like a screaming hot cast iron, 
And that's just gonna crisp up the skin. And then it's gonna let this cook for like two minutes and then we got fancy chicken. What are you gonna watch in two minutes? So a lot of people do a lot of funky stuff with carnitas. I like two ingredients, pork and more pork. Ooh. And so we're just oh. gonna add that pork to this melted pork fat right here. See, it's all just kind of lardy. Pork on delicious. pork on pork. Great. So we're just gonna let this hang out for uh, six hours. Six hours? Yeah. <sighs> Can't believe we just watched Dances with Wolves twice. So we gotta season up these short ribs. It's gonna turn into a barbacoa. Okay. So Link, I have a fun task for you specifically. So here's garlic, right? Hey, this hey, is called hey. the ring the bell method. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put another bowl on top of this bowl. Okay. And you're gonna hold it tight. Yeah, hold it tight. And then you're gonna shake it as hard as you can and it should dislodge all the garlic. That, that's as hard as you can. How's my hair? So yeah, Red, if you just wanna uh, put those face down in this pan, mm. awesome. We need to impart some sort of smoky flavor to it, right? What we're gonna use is Lafroy Scotch. It's known as like the peatiest, smokiest brand of mainstream scotch. Okay. Oh, oh. oh where's this go on that? If, if you're ready to do it, I'm ready to do it. I just have a glove oh. and you should. What do you mean ready to do well, it? Well, I don't know. Oh, there's, I... gonna be, there's gonna be fire. There's gonna be fire, you that's do the this? point. Oh no, I definitely don't wanna do okay, this. Okay, good. Oh, there we go, and we're fine, boy. and we're fine. We're calm, and we're fine. And this is just gonna burn off and no one got hurt. Link, you're gonna toss in the garlic cloves. Oh yeah, just whole? Yeah, just whole. We're gonna put some water in there, cover it up, put it in the oven, and uh, we got about eight hours. <sighs> Can't believe we just watched the YouTube video, How to Crochet an Autumn Poncho for a Dog 9.6 times. This is the finished product. Yeah, if I watch it one more time, I think I'll have it. So we have our A5 Wagyu rib cap right here. It's cut pretty thin, so we all we want to do is get like a super hard sear on it. We need to season it first, so what we have here... Be uh, gentle with your meat, man. It's called Sal de Gusano. You guys want to try this real fast? Whoa! Try it. Paca. So it's really great. So what they do is they take the agave worm. This is a worm with salt? Well, it's a worm with salt. It's called Sal de Gusano. It's super delicious. It's smoky. It's going to add a nice smoky to our beef. It is smoky. And if you just rub it in a little bit with your hands, it'll start to melt the salt into the fat. Okay. And then if you just lay that salt side down, and we're working against the clock, so okay, do it fast, okay, okay. do it fast. Oh, That's man. beautiful. All right, pull it now. Now, he says, now, now! Oh, yeah. All right, then we're just gonna cube that up. What is this, ghost? What are we doing? Just say, I love you. I love you. Ditto. Ditto, ditto. So most people use like a smoked pork product in their beans, but I figure since we have so much of this uh, delicious Kobe beef fat, and Let's a use smoking this again. gun that Link seems to really love. Just kind of blow smoke of that beef fat. I already smoked it earlier today, so whatever you do to it is just for fun and know that it's futile and also Ooh. a metaphor for this entire process. Ooh. All right, we're good. Put this beef into this pot. Smoky, smoky. Okay, okay uh, I, can I just say that beans are kind of sacred to me and I kind of just would like to do this on my own if you guys could just support me in this? Yeah, absolutely, anything you need. Good. It's a little, a little too smoky. Yeah, we usually don't have the smoke, so it's just so great. Okay, now we'll just wait about 45 minutes and the beans should be done. Okay. I can't believe we're still doing this joke. Yeah, let's let's drop it. So we're gonna add the chilies to the pan right now, and then what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna blowtorch them. Fire the pepper! This is not a two-man job. You getting tired? Let yeah. go, let go, let go! Yeah, those are looking pretty good. Stop. Salsa time. So how is our guacamole gonna be more fancy? We're gonna use a super traditional uh, molcajete method, which you're actually, instead of like dicing and mixing, mm. you're actually gonna kind of smash the onions. Great, and so there's no wrong way to do it. What is the secret to guacamole tasting so good? I think it's the right salt levels. My Spanish teacher in college once told me, kissing a man without a mustache is like eating an avocado without salt. Wow. We should taste this. <laughs> yeah. Needs more mustache. All right, let's assemble. Uh, well, Chipotle, you usually don't make your own. Welcome to Josh Chipotle. How may I help you? I'll take a burrito with fancy white rice, fancy black beans, fancy steak, and I will take the blistered shishito pepper fajita veggies. You know what? Throw in some medium salsa, and I'll take guacamole. I know it's extra. I don't care if it's extra. That's, I love it that much. Okay. All right, let's see, let's see how his roll job is. 
Can you wear gloves? No, I cannot wear gloves. Wow, he's really good at this. Only the best at Josh Potley. Next. Um, I would like the taco trio, one barbacoa, one duck, and one carnitas. I'd like a little of the light colored beans as well. Is this as fun for you as it is for me? Is it zero fun for you? Maybe mild, medium, and hot. Just kind of just yeah. run the gamut on the salsa. Yeah. Right. Oh gosh. How hot is that? Uh, okay, uh, and then a little yeah. sour cream, yeah? And some cheese. Do you want any lettuce? No lettuce, but how about a side of uh, chips and guac? All right, are you two paying together, or? Uh, no, I'm not paying for him. All right, he just kind of left. Okay, let's taste these incredibly fancy versions of Chipotle. Yes. yes. Can I join? Oh, yeah. hey, of course, Josh. Oh, you want to be part of this, Josh? Yeah, come on. Kind of, if you don't mind. Come on in. We would love to have you. No problem. Thank you. Belly up to the, to the desk, buddy. All right, and let's reveal this amazing burrito. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Let's put it on this and cut it open so we get a nice cross section. So... There's a knife there. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to touch um, that. Josh, you okay. you do the honors. Hmm. Right. There it is. Boof. Oh. Look at that. That's beautiful, Josh. Looks great. Thank you. Now, what is this going to run us? All right, so all total, it's $163.19. That's a bargain. And how much are the tacos and chips and guac? That's $104 even. $104? Yeah. Hmm. I'm well, gonna enjoy it then. Let's taste it and see if it's worth it. Um, but we should compare it to the Chipotle version. The expensive one is much more colorful uh, on both counts. I mean, this almost looks sad. Like this is a lot of rice. That's all rice. That's it's where all they rice. make their money. Mm. Mm. All right, okay. Link, take a bite of your fancy burrito. I, I'll, I'll let you come to some conclusions, and then I'll start eating my tacos. Oh, gosh. You inhaled a lot during that bite. That freaking steak, man, is, is breaking my heart. It's so good. Okay, I'm going in for the duck. This is so right. Now I'm going in for the Get a little on your beard. barbacoa. Man, you got a, you got a three for one over there. And now I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a that was a carnitas. Now the barbacoa. Got a little on your, your face region. Josh, I, I want to kiss you right now, <laughs> but I won't. Thank you. Because I just ate three tacos. I know, but I want to experience what you're experiencing. <laughs> I'm gonna taste this other burrito, but that's just sad. You know looking. what? You can't experience it. Take the back side uh, of those tacos, man. The fruit <laughs> of your labor. Now, just because we need to do the comparison, I am gonna grab one of these sad original Chipotle. I mean, I've bitten the Chipotle burrito and it is so much rice that it's just not right. But this, oh my gosh. You, you gotta taste this burrito, Rhett. Give me the best taco, taste this burrito, and tell me this isn't the best steak burrito, maybe the best burrito you've ever tasted. And you know what, you're gonna have to eat after one of us. You, you can eat from that end. Okay. Well, if you don't wanna eat after me, I, I, well, I, I wanna keep eating that. Yeah, okay, I oh no, I'll, I'll honor it. I want you to. It tastes so good, it feels like it, it should be wrong. I, I feel emotional. I feel shame. Mm. There's no shame about this. Guys, we did it. We somehow made the expense justified by the taste. Oh, so you'd pay $163 every time for that. Definitely. Yeah, I think I might pay 104 for this. Josh, you're a, you're a magic man. Thank you. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, we're Mythical Beast from Lithuania, Robertus. And Laura. And we're here at the Biltmore Estate in North Carolina. And it's time and to, to spin, spin the, the Wheel, Wheel of Mythicality. Oh. Largest private residence in the continental United States. I'd or... love to just take a private tour. Hit me up, click the top link to watch us use our fancy scraps to make fancy chipotle nachos. And good mythical more. Nacho! And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Having a naked phone is embarrassing, but you can avoid that by popping into mythical.store and buying some of our pop sockets.